Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Ninja Academy and today we are going to see grinding process. So what is grinding process? It is the process of removal of metal by use of grinding wheels. And grinding wheels are comprised of abrasive grains which form the cutting edges in the wheel. So see this a mic microscopic view of the grinding wheel. In the grinding wheel there will be numerous amount of the abrasive grains. These are the abrasive grains which are responsible for the removal of metal from the workpiece. So very small amount of workpiece metal will be removed from the abrasive grains because of the abrasive grains. And these abrasive grains, abrasive grains form the cutting edges, the cutting edges for the grinding wheel. And whenever these cutting edges will be will be broken. So just consider if this abrasive grain is cut from the cut out due to excessive forces from the workpiece. So when there will be a cut in the abrasive grain, the abrasive grain will be modified in some what like this in the shape somewhat like this and this shape also will be acting as new cutting edge new cutting edge to remove the further material so it is a uh, better uh, so it is a better thing of the grinding wheel that even after cutting of the edges, the cutting edges, we will, uh, we will be getting new cutting edges which will be useful for further machine or further metal removal. So basically the grinding process is a metal removal process in which metal removal rate is low. So very less material will be grounded off or taken out from the workpiece material. See here, it is a macroscopic view of the grinding wheel and very less material is being taken out from the workpiece. It is a workpiece. So here MRR is very low. Next. abrasive grains there are different abrasive grains some are natural natural abrasives which are corn drum and emery and in artificial abrasives there are silicon carbide silicon carbide abrasives and aluminium oxide so these are artificial abrasives and these are natural abrasives so next the grinding wheels are of two types one is coarse grained 
and other one is fine grained so in coarse grained the material removal rate or the amount of material taken out from the work piece is more because of this coarse grain so coarse grain are the grain size is big and due to that more amount of material will be removed from the work piece so more mrr and this coarse grain grinding wheels are used for soft materials so here the with using the coarse grain grinding wheels the time needed to remove certain amount of material will be less so now in fine grain grinding wheel less mrr is absorbed and this fine grain abrasive wheel grinding wheel is used to grind hard and brittle materials hard and brittle materials and basically the fine grain uh, grinding wheel is used for finishing the already machined parts now we have hardness of grinding wheels hardness of grinding wheels so we have given codes certain codes uh, alpha uh, alphabetical codes we have given for the different grades so for soft grades we have alphabets a to h for medium we have i to p and for hard we have q to z so just remember a i q a for soft grades i will be intermediately for medium grades means before i there will be h and uh, for a to h the codes are for soft then from i to before q it will be p so from i to p there will be medium grades and after q up to z it will be hard hard grades so in soft grade grinding wheels the abrasive abrasive grains can be easily dislodged and in hard these are held more securely now there is uh, classification according to the structure structure of the abrasive particles so the coarse structure of grinding wheels is denoted or coded according to numerical values so from 9 to 15 and higher these codes are given for 
coarse structured grinding wheels and the coarse structured grinding wheels are suitable for heavy cuts then soft and ductile and tough materials soft ductile and tough materials and the close or dense structured grinding wheels close or dense structured for close and dense structured grinding wheels the coding is from 1 to 8 and these are suitable for finishing cuts finishing cuts hard and brittle materials so with using the dense structured grinding wheel we can finish we can give the finishing cuts to hard and brittle materials so now we will see some points first one is glazing so what is glazing due to wear of the abrasive grains the grinding wheels take a glass like appearance due to wear of abrasive grains abrasive grains the grinding wheel takes appearance of like a glass glass like appearance and it is due to this glazing the material removal capability of the grinding wheel is decreased and it happens when the wheel is too hard or it revolves at a very high speed so the reasons of glazing are wheel is too hard wheel is too hard and other reason is that it revolves at very high rpm so for reducing glazing we will have to use softer material softer wheel or we will have to decrease the speed of the grinding wheel decrease the speed now there is one point called as truing truing so it's a process of changing the shape of the grinding wheel due to worn out or broken abrasives and bonds so when the bonds are broken out or the abrasives are worn out abrasives are worn out and the and the bond is broken and bonds are broken we will have to carry out a process of truing it is the process of changing the shape of the grinding wheel so in the truing process we will use a tool which is pressed against the grinding wheel it is the process of pressing the uh, the tool against a grinding wheel and we will have to change the shape of the grinding wheel so if the shape of the grinding wheel 
is changed like this like this so if this material is removed and the final shape is like this it will be from both sides okay so this orange yellow shape will be the final so to regain the shape we will have to uh, we will have to use the truing process and we will have to use a tool a tool which will be pressed against the grinding wheel and it will give uh, it will give the grinding wheel its particular shape okay so here the tool is pressed against the grinding wheel and this excess material is being removed and this excess material is being removed and our shape of the grinding wheel a circular shape will be regained so this process is called as truing next process is dressing so due to uh, use of this grinding wheels due to use of the grinding wheel uh, the the amount of cutting is decreased along with the passing time so dressing is the process of improving improving the cutting action the cutting action of the grinding wheel so here also a dressing tool a dressing tool is used to sharpen the cutting edges and remove the chips stuck in the abrasives a dressing tool is used to sharpen the abrasives sharpen the abrasives and remove remove the materials stuck in the grinding wheel stuck in the grinding wheel or the abrasive particles so if this is a part of the uh, the abrasive or grinding wheel so after the use there will be materials which are stuck inside the grinding wheels or inside the abrasive particles so to remove the materials stuck we will use a dressing tool okay so a dressing tool will be like this a hard point will be there and it will be pressed against the grinding wheel so after that the cutting edges will be regained and the material will be removed the material will be removed from the abrasives Thank you.